The boy angrily slams the stick at Remy, hitting him squarely on the head. Remy faints but hits his head hard on a rock. Watching Remy not move, Anton panics. Carefully coming over to check on him, he reaches out to touch his friend and realizes that he's out of breath. Now Anton was terrified. Pulling his legs out, he runs for the house. Anton returns to Remy and drags the body to the edge of the rock crevice, then pushes him off without hesitation. Thinking he's cleaned things up, a stunned Anton returns home, only to find his watch missing and his clothes slashed. At that moment, Remy's mom realizes that Remy has disappeared and is looking around. Suddenly, she knocks on Anton's door. At this moment, Anton is unexpectedly calm. He just casually took off his torn jacket and looked at the woman without changing his face. Do you know where Remy is? Anton shakes his head. When asked where Remy went in the morning, Anton again points to a random place and just fools the adults. That's when he heard something coming from outside. Goes to the window and looks. Turns out Remy's disappearance has alerted the police. As a witness to Remy's disappearance, the police approached Anton for questioning. He was calm and collected and didn't show a single sign of dissent. He also lied and successfully transferred the suspicion to the supermarket employee. But the police didn't give up searching for Remy and even mobilized the townspeople to look for him. But after a day, they found nothing. But that night, something unexpected happened. The wind was raging, lightning flashed and thunder roared. A storm crushed countless houses and buildings, destroying the entire forest.